This is a regular version of Windows 11. And this is an ameliorated version of Windows 11. What's the difference? Well, Windows 11 ameliorated is once again, a stripped down version of Windows 11. There's no pre-installed bloatware, no telemetry, and there is lots of privacy and security features that are included right out of the box in Windows 11 ameliorated. So ameliorated is a project that kind of kickstarted this all really. So it started many years ago where you had basically load up Linux on your computer and you'd build up your ameliorated version of Windows 10. However, it has come a long way since then. We've now got obviously AME Wizard and Playbooks and everything just kind of works. It's really simple and easy to set up. And we've got a very, and I mean very stripped down version of Windows 11 now, thanks to Windows 11 ameliorated. I haven't seen any videos on Windows 11 ameliorated before, so it looks like I'm the first. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. So to install Windows 11, 11 ameliorated we need to go to their website so i'll leave a link to this in the description down below now ameliorated did actually make the ame wizard which is what we use to install atlas os and also the new version of rev ios using ame wizard and playbooks so yeah just go ahead and hit download here if you guys have installed custom operating systems recently using this wizard then it should be pretty easy to you so we're just going to go ahead and extract that and you'll probably need to disable windows defender as well because it does interfere with that quite a lot so just go here and just turn off all of these make sure you turn off every single switch even tamper protection because when we install playbooks it obviously messes with the system and tamper protection obviously prevents that and you'll end up with a bugged install i know a lot of problems have occurred from people leaving tamper protection on so yeah definitely turn off all of these make sure they're all off and you should be good so yeah here we go here's ame wizard and now we need to go ahead and get the windows 11 and ameliorated playbook right so now just scroll down on their website and you should find this so we've got ame 11 and ame 10 so if you've got windows 10 then go for windows 10 ameliorated but we're going to go for windows 11 official ameliorated playbook for windows 11 cutting the tumor out of your os <laughs> yeah i'd definitely recommend making either a system restore point backing up all your data just in case something goes wrong i'm obviously not going to do that because i'm using my secondary pc we're going to look at windows 11 ameliorated in today's video so we're going to go ahead and get that playbook. You then drag it into here like that. And here we go. Windows 11 amelioration playbook. So yeah, this says it's basically going to ameliorate our Windows 11, which is what we want. So first thing is disable security, which we've done. So we'll go ahead and go to next on there. You will need to activate it. So luckily we've already got that. We've got some requirements not met. Let's go ahead and see what that's going to come up with. Right, well, I guess that's it. That's pretty much everything. System preparation complete. And now it's going to restart our computer. Right, so we're just logging back in here. I'm not sure if it's going to start the installation right away or whether I have to put in the playbook again. Okay, so we're prompted to open it up again. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, good. We've got requirements met. So now we just go next, agree. And yeah, we're going to go with the default amelioration in this video. I don't think you can customize features just yet. I think that's coming very soon to AME Wizard. And then yeah, just press next and then just enter your password. Oh, you need to set up a password for the default user. Okay, so let's just go ahead and set one up real quick. We'll automatically log in as well. So admin password. Yeah, so basically what a Windows 11 ameliorator does is it has an administrator and a normal user. So the admin account is completely separate from all of your files and that kind of stuff. Supposedly for Spectre mitigation, it's an extra layer of security basically. And yeah, it comes with Windows 11 ameliorated and Windows 10. And also in RevIOS as well, you can enable it in their RevI tool. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and run this playbook, basically. So yeah, if you've done playbooks before, they install pretty quickly, but it all kind of depends on your computer speed. If you've got an SSD, it shouldn't take too long. If you've got a hard drive, it's probably going to take a while. And uh, yeah, honestly, AME Wizard is brilliant. It's literally just like running an install setup wizard, but you're customizing your operating system. It's doing all the heavy lifting, all the hard work for you, customizing your operating system, bloating it oh it's just brilliant and it's such a good project so yeah i'll be back once it is done all right guys so while we wait for our windows 11 to be ameliorated i just want to give a quick shout out to this new channel that i've made it's called notre dame texture packs and on here i basically upload all my old school texture pack videos so these would be like texture pack reviews top fives some of my best packs and i might even be making some new texture packs very soon and releasing them on this channel now the reason for this is i'm getting back into texture pack stuff again 
but I can't really do it on my main channel now because I've kind of shifted my content towards tech and that kind of stuff. So I decided to make a new channel for it. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to this channel, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. I'm going to be doing like Bed Wars gameplay, showcasing packs, Sky Wars. All the old school content that I used to do back in the day will be pretty much on here for you guys to enjoy. And yeah, if you want Minecraft texture packs or want to find cool ones or just want to look back at some of my old videos, then definitely subscribe to this channel. All right, back to the video. This is Windows 11 ameliorated. Now, it doesn't look much different because I was actually rocking their original wallpaper before I installed this. But if you install Windows 11 ameliorated for yourself, it will change your wallpaper to this really nice purple wallpaper. But yeah, this is pretty much it. It doesn't look like it's done much. It looks like it's just shifted my icons to the left here on the taskbar. But it's also installed some stuff. So by default, it comes with Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC Media Player, and only office now yeah this is pretty cool i don't personally use thunderbirds or only office but vlc is very good to have and i'm pretty sure only office is pretty much just microsoft word yeah if we go ahead and go here it looks exactly like microsoft word it's pretty good i believe it's open source as well it's very good that it comes with that i'm guessing this is like a free alternative to office which is like the bloatware that would come pre-installed on a regular windows 11 install vlc media players probably because they've stripped out every kind of windows media player under the sun so they have to install one and VLC is probably the best. It's open source and it supports lots of file types. Thunderbird I probably wouldn't have chosen but yeah it's an open source mail client and that's all you need I suppose. So if we go to our start menu here it's kind of glitched out because we've got start 11 and we've got the actual shell competing with each other basically. So let's go ahead and turn off start 11. All right so now that I've uninstalled start 11 we can have a look at this which is the Windows 11 ameliorated start menu. Now this is pretty much just open shell. If we right click here, as you can see here, it just says open shell menu. If we go to the settings and go to skin, it's running a fluent AME skin, which does look very good. I am a massive fan of this. It looks so clean. So yeah, this is pretty much what we get here. So as you may have noticed from the start menu here, we have something called central AME script. So pretty much Windows 11 ameliorated has taken a regular Windows 11 install and it's stripped out lots of core components. It's pretty much gone to town the chopping block and just chopped out so many core components that the system would be broken without this tool. So if we go ahead and open it here, now as you can see we do need to enter an administrator password every time we want to try and do something that requires administrator access. So yeah you will need to get used to this by entering a password into your computer every time you want to do something but it's a bit more secure that way. It's a bit like Mac OS. If you want to install something you always need the user password to do pretty much anything on mac os now so here's the central ame script so do you remember what i was saying about core components well the username password and just in general the account manager has been completely stripped out of windows 11 ameliorated now that means it is pretty much broken so if you want to go ahead and change your username or password of the user on your computer you have to do it through this script it's pretty easy to use i suppose it's not too bad it's pretty much just like a um windows debloater script in a way so yeah you can just go ahead and change your passwords and display name through here. You can change the lock screen image through here as well. It doesn't let you do that anymore. You have to do it through their thing. Change your user profile image as well. You can do that. Elevate user to administrator, disable username login, disable auto login, manage language settings as well. That's been completely stripped out of here as well. You can manage users through here. So for example, the user account manager in settings is completely gone. So we have to do it through here. And we can also install net 3.5 through here. I wonder what's in extra, what we've we got here. So we can enable hibernation, notification center, desktop notifications. And then we've got some other stuff here as well. That is pretty much the central AME script. Now, yeah, if we go into settings here, as you can see on the left, we have got pretty much no settings whatsoever. So stuff like Xbox and that kind of stuff's been completely stripped out. Privacy has been stripped out as well because by default there's some very good privacy settings on Windows 11 ameliorated. Well, this is what we're left with basically. So settings is very buggy. So for example, I've just clicked on system here and it's just completely froze. 
So lots of chopping has been done in Windows 11 Ameliorated and it shows honestly because Windows is quite slow and a little bit broken without it. Okay, there we go. It's finally done it. So we can do like general display settings and that kind of thing in here. Bluetooth and devices works as well. Network and internet. Personalization I think you can do through here as well. I don't think you can change your background. I think they've at least nuked the uh, default Windows wallpapers as well. So they're not included anymore. And the settings app's frozen again. Uh, this is just brilliant, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Apps, default apps, time and language, and some accessibility stuff. So yeah, look at how minimal that is. There's no themes, no pre-installed themes. You basically, oh, we do have it. It's just taking a little while to load. So we can apply stock Windows themes, which is very good. And yeah, I mean, if we do that, it pretty much just looks like a regular Windows 11 install, right? As you can see in the system tray here, we do not have Windows Defender. So no antivirus comes pre-installed on Windows 11 Ameliorated. So you're either gonna have to be very careful or install your own. And to be honest, there isn't that many good free antiviruses out there. So you're probably better off being a power user and being very careful what you download and install, or you can install a free antivirus and uh, bloat up your computer. So we've got settings and stuff down here. This stuff's all pretty standard. We can't right click the taskbar for like customizability or anything. It's pretty much have it at the left or don't have it at all, basically. I think we can go to our task manager just by pressing that. Yep, there we go. Then if we go here, we've got 66 processes in the background, which is really good. Now before, I think before I ran this, we should we should have done it before and after, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. This was about 90 to 100 before I ran the Windows 11 ameliorated script. So yeah, it's definitely done its job. It's cut down the processes really low. I think this is probably the lowest I've ever seen a Windows 11 install, to be honest. We've obviously had GGOS, but that was based on Windows 10, that I think got it to about 50. But for Windows 11, this is pretty good going 66 processes and yeah that has come at the expense of a lot of core features being removed out of windows 11 so we've only got about 39 windows processes here which is all kind of essential stuff like shell and service host and that kind of thing and then we've just got stuff that we've installed like the nvidia stuff explore a frame that's from rectify 11 which we did a video on if you want to check that out i'll leave a link to it on the top right we've annoyingly got the open shell menu as a background process but that's because if we didn't have that we won't have a start menu because they've completely removed it out of windows 11 ameliorated so it's pretty much this or nothing so yeah it's good that it's been replaced with an open source alternative but yeah it takes up a little background process which is a bit annoying and then we've got this work around for startup slash shutdown log off and unlock sounds okay i don't think i've ever seen this before so it does look like it's a third party process of some kind i believe this is something to do with ameliorated i'm guessing yeah it's uh just restores like classic windows stuff i suppose so yeah that's that basically so if we go ahead and get a photo here just some random photo and just drag it to our desktop i wonder what it'll open up with oh okay so it's opened up with this program i don't know what this is called but this is an open source photo viewer i believe what's it called image lounge no max image lounge so yeah this is pretty much like a windows photo viewer alternative but an open source alternative so that's pretty cool so yeah like i said it's come with thunderbird vlc all that stuff and this for image viewing i'm guessing vlc for video and that kind of thing but yeah it's very bare bones this and uh yeah i'm not really too sure if i'd recommend this to be honest with you for a daily system like your daily driver i'd probably only recommend installing this if you've got a computer that's strictly for gaming so say you're like a linux user you use arch by the way and you need like a windows 11 vm or something like that then this might be a good option because you'll be doing all your regular computer stuff on linux and just using Windows strictly for gaming. We have got low background processes, but that's at the expense of stripping out core Windows features. So that's why I can't really recommend it. Now, I'll tell you a little story. I did actually install Windows 11 Ameliorated on my main system, and this was a massive mistake. I don't know why I did it. I think I was just bored or something. So uh, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm on Windows LTSC on my main system nowadays, it's because yeah, I used to run Windows 11. I got really excited for Windows 11 Ameliorated after the LTT video on it. I was like, yes, finally it's out and it's for Windows 11. This is going to be so good. I'm going to have no regrets. I'm not going to look back. And yeah, I installed AME Wizard. I downloaded the Windows 11 Ameliorated playbook, did it on my main system and it broke <laughs> core components and you know, the system was still usable. I could still use it to do day-to-day -day things. But the thing that really stuck for me was there was no Windows Hello support. 
So I've got a Windows Hello webcam that I'm using to record right now. And yeah, you kind of don't really appreciate something until it's gone. So obviously, yeah, in settings, it's really stripped down and bare bones. Windows Hello is just non-existent. It's not even in the settings. In fact, the whole kind of user account control system is all managed through this central AME script because it's just been completely stripped out of the operating system. So the, yeah, that's why I can't really recommend it because although it's a big, massive chopping block for Windows 11, like as they say, they've cut the tumor out of Windows 11, but it's at the expense of usability. So I'd probably recommend making your own Windows 11 ISO if you are going to go down the debloating custom operating system path. I'll leave a link to my video on that in the description down below. Other other good options are RevIOS. If you guys want to see a video on RevIOS, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'll definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah, I believe that will complete the trinity of playbooks that we've got available to us right now. Atlas OS, Revi and Ameliorated. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Yeah, it's difficult to recommend honestly. This is going to be probably like one of my only videos where I might not be able to recommend this. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Oh, we've just broken something. Yeah, so this is the stuff that's come pre-installed. 7-zip as well, that's pretty good. But yeah, let me know if you've tried Windows 11 Ameliorated in the comments section down below. I haven't seen any videos on this on YouTube before, apart from the original LTT video ages ago. So it'd be interesting to see if people do actually check this out and do run it. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you want to see a video on how to customize your Windows 11 desktop, then click here.